Hey guys, Jambo Comics back with another episode of Jambo Comics. Got a small stack of books I picked up this week from a local shop. Just thought I'd share it with you. Some some great books I thought I got at a good price. It's just stuff I like. And let's get started and I'll show you what I got. Uh, first I got a man thing. Number 17, 25 cent edition. And it was in pretty nice shape. I gave two dollars for it, guys. Nice looking book, Gil Kane cover. Uh, good story inside. Uh, just working on that run and picking them up as I find them and stuff. And that was a pretty nice one for two bucks. So glad to have that. And also got this. It's uh, Howard the Duck number twenty-three with a uh, Star Wars parody cover there. Pretty cool. Like the old uh, Star Wars movie poster. And uh, just some great Gene Colan artwork inside and on the cover there. Glad to have that. And uh, I think I gave just a couple bucks for that also. And I got most of these books at a local shop called Comic Book World. And it's a great shop. My favorite one in the state. Uh, try to go in there every chance I get and uh, check it out. And... I always have a lot of great books at fantastic prices. So, I mean, yeah, look at that. <laughs> very funny, very cool. Love the Howard the Duck stuff. Uh, let's see. This one I got at a good price. I think it was like five bucks for that. And uh, Strange Adventures, number 153. And very cool cover. The faceless creature and uh, this had the atomic knights in it also and just some good uh, DC Silver Age stuff uh, love the strange adventures they always have pretty crazy stories like outer limits or something like that so very cool very cool stuff glad to have that and this one here I thought was cool I like the cover of it the challengers of the unknown and uh, that is number 34 with the multi-woman, queen of disaster. And she's trashing that boat pretty good. Uh, just thought that was kind of cool. Nice looking cover. Uh, there again, the early, uh, well, Silver Age stuff from DC. And um, very cool. I like it. And it was pretty cheap also. I think it was like five bucks for that also. And found this. Uh, Adventures into the Unknown. Number 123, I think I gave like seven bucks for that. And um, yeah, pretty cool, giant hand. Gonna grab the dude up there. Nice looking cover, seven bucks. Early Silver Age. Gripping Tales of Suspense. It was an ACG and uh, yeah, I've grown to appreciate the comics quite a bit that they did. So pretty cool. And I'm trying to finish up this uh, run of Doctor Strange. That I don't think I like, but just a couple more. But uh, I've had it all before a couple of times. And always seemed to get away from me. But I just thought I'd grab them again and finish the run up again. That's number 177. And this one he was getting the uh, costume. And looking more like a superhero instead of just a uh, regular Doctor Strange. Uh, which I thought was kind of cool at the time, but yeah, I kind of like the regular old Doctor Strange the best. But uh, yeah, very cool cover, Gene Colan uh, art, and yeah, I just hard to beat. I love this run of Doctor Strange, the Silver Age run there. Great stories in them. So I will finish that up again, and I got also number 176 with Cleo on the cover. This one had a little scribbling with a marker or something somebody did. But other than that, it was in pretty good shape. And uh, it'll do until I find a better copy. But uh, still pretty nice and good to have. I'll mark it off the list and uh, just keep my eyes out. When I find a better copy, I'll replace it. But nonetheless, cool, fun comic book. Doctor Strange number 176. 
There you go, kitties, and got another copy of this. I think that's about three or four of those I have. Uh, Doctor Strange uh, and the Strange Tales, number 168. I think this was the last issue of uh, Strange Tales uh, before they turn the title into just Doctor Strange. And uh, they would come back with another volume later, and they would pick up with the uh, Brothers of Voodoo. And, uh, yeah, it's number 168, though. I think that's Dan Atkins' cover. And, uh, yeah, good Doctor Strange stories inside. Also some uh, beautiful Steranko, Nick Fury stuff. I mean, it had some amazing Steranko art in there. So, very good. Glad to have that. And I found this at Comic Book World also. And uh, just I couldn't pass it up. The cover there and stuff. Flash Gordon, number 17. From Charlton Comics. And uh, just great. And amazing. Love Flash Gordon. And that monster on the cover there. Just couldn't leave that behind. Very cool. On the Planet Mongo. The Creeping Menace. Yeah, definitely looks menacing. And I got a couple of Golden Age also, just because uh, they were at a good price and just uh, seemed pretty interesting to me. Uh, this is from 1951. And uh, Steve Roper on the cover of it there. This character here. And just thought it was kind of crazy him whacking that dude in the head with the fan, the running fan there. <laughs> giving him a haircut I guess I just thought it was kind of funny guy with the blackjack there and <laughs> the girls going at it in the background there in the cat fight and uh, I just love the trade dress on those famous funnies and uh, they're very cool and a few issues later I think is when Frank Frazetta did his famous run on famous funnies had all those great Buck Rogers covers and uh, they're really cool if you get a chance to check them out just look at them they're amazing but this was pretty cool it had some good reading inside and like i said that was steve roper on the cover there the story there so that was pretty cool and number 195 from 1951 so like that and i got a this for my uh jumbo run and it was in pretty rough shape but i gave a cheap price for it so i can't really complain i needed it for my uh, uh jumbo run it's uh number 109 and a great sheena cover there they're throwing the knife at the guy in the crocodile suit and uh saving bob again and just uh just cool sheena action and stuff this one had a lot of good girl art inside of it i mean it was uh cover to cover uh just good girl art all, all through it and uh yeah it had had some problems there with the cover i mean it had a couple pieces of tape on the spine up the top and the bottom there around the staples and some spine roll and a dust shadow over here but i mean it was all there and uh the insides were good i gave 14 dollars for it so not not too bad i don't think and it could benefit from a clean or something maybe but uh yeah, it's not bad. 14 bucks, And like I say, that'll do until I do find a better copy. And uh, yeah, that was from 1948. And uh, had some great art inside. Had some Baker art in there. And as well as some Cayman art. And uh, yeah, I mean, Fiction House knew how to do it. And they did it right. That was good stuff. Number 109. That's it, guys. Uh, just a little short haul, like I said today. Uh, just some books I picked up this week. So, just thought I'd share them with you. And, um, yeah, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Always looking for new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Because, as you know, the beautiful Sophia Loren says, subscribe. Thank you guys. I appreciate your time.